A very nice start. We had mostly clear skies, just a few upper level clouds heading on through over the past hour or so. And here is a live look. The sun just coming up. Beautiful start. It is going to be a very, very nice day. Here's what Paul was talking about with our cold temperatures, right? We are at 48 in Hammond. That's pretty chilly. 46 in Bogalusa. Look at Picayune. You got down to 45. That was our cold spot. 50s along the Mississippi coast. 52 in Slidale up in Washington Parish. We have 40s uh, and here in the metro we're sitting into the lower 60s. So it did stay a little bit warmer than we thought, but we've had a strong south or northeast wind overnight and that's helped the temperatures from falling too quickly. Look at uh, the Bayou and River Parish is sitting in the upper 50s to lower 60s as well. So everywhere you go, it is a nice fall start and it is going to be a very nice, nice day. Look at the dry air too. We've had that cold front that moved through, uh, you know, uh, yesterday morning brought in that dry air dew point sitting in the 40s to nearly 30s. That is bone uh, dry air. So you're waking up this morning. I know I did. I could feel uh, that my throat was a lot drier than normal. Temperatures today getting into the upper 70s. It will be nice and warm or at least mild, but with dry air, it'll feel very, very comfortable. Our winds east northeast at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So that'll be the transition today, more of an easterly wind, and they will start to lighten up just a little bit. Gusting to 24 at the lakefront, 8 miles per hour is a sustained at the airport, so we do still have a fairly decent northeast wind uh, kicking on through. That will start to diminish later today, tonight, east, southeast, uh, about 4 to 8, getting to the mid 50s, north of the lake, mid 60s, south of the lake. So you're looking at a little bit warmer, but still a relatively cool night across the area. Look at our high temperatures, very short lived cool down. We'll put it that way. 77 today, 84 tomorrow. And then as we go throughout next week, we're talking about the mid 80s going really throughout the next seven days. Uh, we'll be dealing with more humidity across the area as well. So that nice feeling air really you'll start to notice tomorrow a little bit more humid, but really more so Tuesday and into Wednesday and going throughout next week. Our dew points get back up to around 70. So we're dew points today in the lower to mid 40s to upper 40s and then mid 60s tomorrow. That's still not bad. Upper 60s to lower 70s is when you certainly start to notice just a little bit more humidity across the area. So precision gas showing there's our high pressure over us. So it'll start to slide towards the east. That will allow that moisture to start to flow back up into the area tomorrow, but more so going into Monday and we'll start to see maybe a few showers by Monday and really that trend looks like it'll continue throughout the entire uh, work with a few showers and thunderstorms. Hate to say it, but we're still talking about the tropics and we're getting into mid October. Not uncommon, but we are watching these two areas. This one up here is well to the east of Bermuda, just an area of low pressure spinning. This will likely become a depression or a storm over the next probably 24 hours or so. Uh, and of course, this will be our next name system. That is not going to be an issue for the US. It looks like it'll stay out there and meander. There's our next tropical system. This one doesn't look like it's going to be an issue for the Gulf of Mexico, uh, but it has a low chance of development into next week. So this is not going to do anything over the next couple of days. There's not not even anything there. Our models are just consistent with developing something by the middle and end of this coming work week. So showing what I'm talking about, here's the low pressure that will likely become a storm later today. There's a high pressure to the north. Watch this area down here. Nothing going on through at least Tuesday to Wednesday. By Wednesday going into Thursday, maybe an area of low pressure trying to develop down here and the models bring it to the north as we get more cold fronts coming down. So at the moment, the current setup keeps the Gulf of Mexico closed. By the way, we're nearly to our 2005 record, which was Zeta. We'll get there with the next two storms. Seven day forecast. Very nice heading into Sunday and then there we go into next week. Heat, we'll say heat mid 80s is above average with humidity and maybe a few showers and thunderstorms.